What's up everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark and I say it's very special because it is once again time for the finale of this game or rather of the current demo of this game because we are taking on the sixth gym leader here in Green Pine City and that is Bailey the grass type master after last time we found him in the tropic jungle and then Finally, he went over to his gym, and so now we can challenge him, and unfortunately, that means this is, once again, the end of the current demo of this game, because there's really not much else left to do after here. Uh, there is a whole another area still left to explore, and then there's this final area all the way up here, which leads over to the Rakoto Pokemon League, but that is coming in the final update of the game, so we're almost there, we're almost to the end, but unfortunately this update still doesn't wrap up this game, so today I wanted to ask you guys something a little bit uh, different, or curious I guess, because I feel like these games, the Pokemon fan games, at least most of the ones that are currently being updated, they kind of feel like the Telltale series of games, like The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones, where they're released more so in episodes every once in a while. And I wanted to ask you guys, uh, which one you prefer, because those games I feel like I've been picking up a lot of popularity lately, and people seem to enjoy them, because it's like, a new update comes out every once in a while, so you always have something to look forward to, and I feel like these Pokemon fan games are literally the same thing, so... I was gonna ask you guys, which one do you prefer? Because I think lately I've actually been preferring a little bit more of this kind of version of games where you get a little bit every once in a while instead of one huge game every like two years or something because even though it is cool to have the whole game right off the bat, I feel like with these updates, it's like you're always looking forward to the next one and I don't know, it has its up and it has its downsides. Like I always tend to forget what Pokemon I have in each team, but it also gives you a good chance to go back and maybe play through the game a second time. So I feel like at least it makes games definitely have a lot more of a long longevity, long, longevity I, I don't know how to say that word. Basically, it makes games last for longer in a way, um, and it also gives it a lot of repay value because you're gonna wanna play through it again to remember exactly what you missed out on last time. But anyway, I just wanted to ask that because I know that that's been a thing that's actually been kind of, I've been thinking about a lot lately with the Pokemon fan games because, I don't know, I feel like I've been liking the fan games a little bit more than the main series games as of lately, and I'm not sure why, so maybe that could be kind of a reason why but either way like i said today we're taking on the final gym leader in this current demo i think this is now demo four or five so the next one is confirmed to be the final one and it probably won't come out for like a pretty long time maybe the summer i would say because that's usually when people have more time to work on these games but if you guys are excited for the ending of this current demo as we're taking on the sixth gym leader bailey make sure to leave a like and before we continue on to get the final flower we do have one final edition of the fan art spotlight featuring none other than our very own all of the team members actually because since this is the final uh, art spotlight for a while um, I'm going to include some of the ones that came in throughout the last few days because I know I haven't been uploading this quite as frequently, uh, but then I also really want to include in there some of my all-time favorite ones of the whole team because there's some really talented artists out there and I just wanted to say you guys are awesome, so keep it up. If you do enjoy drawing or making artwork and stuff, just follow your dreams, man, because you guys, you guys are great. I've been recently just like scouting DeviantArt and looking up random Pokemon artwork and there's so many really cool artists out there. And it's awesome, so I just wanted to give a shout out to all the artists out there. Anyway, without further ado, we do have one final flower to look after, or to look for, so that we can take on Bailey, and that's actually that pink flower right over there. So for whatever reason, this kid is really, really into flowers. I mean, he is a grass type trainer, so I guess I get that, but this dude is super into like rare flowers or something, and he's got them spread all over his greenhouse gym. And we actually have to collect all of them in order to even unlock the door. Now, one more thing that we're actually doing right now, aside from taking down Bailey one last time, is trying to evolve Bailey, our newest team member, the Dragon and Fairy type Pokemon. Unfortunately, evolves at level 48, and you can see right now we're literally fighting level 48 wild Pokemon, or sorry, trainer Pokemon. So, it's not like we don't have the levels, or, or it's not like we don't have the, um, the right Pokemon to get this training all the way to 48, but I really don't think we're gonna end up getting failure 48, so I think after we're done with this gym battle, that is if we can even finish it, because I honestly don't know. Sometimes I think, like, you know, Grass-type, Bug-type Pokemon, they're not too strong, we can totally wreck him and then things like Berg and Blaze Black happens so I'm not sure how tough Bailey will be I'm hoping not too much but 
We'll see for sure. Uh, even if we don't get Paley to level 48, though, which we most likely won't. It's like a 99% chance that we won't. Um, I will definitely try to keep on training her up until we get there, uh, just because I want to see that before the end of this demo. But looks like there's actually a flower missing or I'm um, somehow missing something. It's definitely not those dandelions. These are dandelions, right? Are these what these flowers are called? I feel like they are just because they look like they have a lion's mane. But then again, oh, there it is. Okay, it must be this flood flower because I don't know what other flower there would be. And now that all six flowers have been collected, the door to Bailey is now open. However, I think I should go heal up. Actually, we're probably okay. All of my Pokemon have uh, decent enough HP. I guess Fivesta could use a paralyzed heal, but that's about it. I don't really think we're going to need the heal up. So let's just go for this and take on the final gym leader in the Rakoto region, at least for now, it is Bele. You made it, Orange. Great. Wasn't this adventure in Tropic Jungle an overwhelming one? So this is my gym. I focus on Grass-type Pokemon. They are so connected to nature, and I love that. I feel like I have a special bond with Grass-types. This is what makes us strong. So are you ready to battle? Let's do this. Let him rip. Oh, no. We have to choose our Pokemon first. So we got... Grass types, obviously, that we're going up against, so Fivesta will be pretty good, Flara will be amazing, Petrovolt will be okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna take Faily because, like I said, we're training up Faily right now, so might as well try to get as much experience as we can as we take on Bailey, who is looking a little bit like Wally, not gonna lie. I'm feeling like that sprite may have been a little bit Wally-inspired there, but his first Pokemon is actually going to be TK Tick. Which is a little bit disappointing because I was expecting the final evolution of this guy, but I guess he still got the second one. Hmm. That's a little bit strange. I was really, really expecting the last evolution, but eh, I don't know. Next up is Grozilla, though, which I am sure is the grass and fighting type monkey and actually the final evolution of it. That thing looks mad, dude. Holy crap. I do not want to cross paths with that thing. Imagine seeing this in like a dark alley and you're just like, what would you even do? Like, can you even run? It's probably faster than you, so I don't know what I would do, but Aerial Ace not quite cutting it, so we are going to fly instead, and he's going to try to cut it with his Leaf Blade, but guess what, dude? You can't even do that because I was up in the air, and now you're dead. So, Grozilla, you know, I thought it's like an overgrown Chia Pet. That's how I like to think about it. You guys remember Chia Pets? Chia Pets were pretty cool. They weren't really pets. They were kind of just plants, but... I don't know, I always thought it was kind of interesting, so his next Pokemon is going to be Wood Dawn, and of course I'm going to go for my favorite attack, which is going to be, actually I went for the wrong attack, but I meant to go for Solar Claw, uh, because I really wanted to test out something regarding Solar Claw, because a couple of people have told me that it actually doesn't need to charge up in the sunlight, much like Solar Beam, um, and Flareo does have the Drought ability, but I really wanted to know whether or not that Drought ability is actually active right now or not, because... Oh, nope, see that? So for some reason, it, oh wait, never mind, look at that, it actually went through right just, wait, it did it or not? I don't, I don't think it did, I think it still had to take in sunlight, and because he used a hyper potion, it like did it all in one turn, but I feel like somehow uh, Mega Flaro is bugged out in the current version, and you can't get the drought right when you Mega Evolve, which is how it's supposed to work, but I'm pretty sure Solar Claw is supposed to work in the uh, sunlight, so what we're gonna do is actually Volt Switch out of here and back out to Flareo, which should hopefully spark up the sunlight, and then we can try out- wait, what? Oh, okay, that was really weird. The music ended right at the time when I was switching out, so I thought that somehow we glitched the game and- okay, never mind. But now that the sunlight is officially out, Solar Claw should just go through in one hit, so come on, Mega Flareo! One last battle. And, oh, see, look at that. All we do is take in sunlight and bada blam, it goes in on the first turn. So, yep, Mega Flareo, a little bit bugged out in this current version, but I'm sure you know, when the final, final release comes around, there will not only be Mega Flareo, but a bunch of other Mega Evolutions. Anyway, that's it for Bailey. That was actually quite anticlimactic, I gotta say, but congrats on the win. Here is your badge. Ba -dum -ba -bum, ba -da -dum -ba -bum, bum 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 It's the nature badge. So it's pretty cool how it comes up, but I feel like there's a little jingle missing there, but here's a gift. TM103 for leaf darts. This dude didn't even use that. It's a move that shoots razor sharp leaves at your opponent. It can hit multiple times. It's a great move. I will continue my research. Please visit me sometime. 
I don't know about that, Bailey. I know why you want me to visit you, dude. And I'm just saying, I'm not into it, bro. I'm not into your flowers. Oh, it's you, Orange. What? You've already beaten the gym leader of Green Pine City. Oh, man. You are always faster than me. Anyways, I spoke with Rax and the Professor. They don't have any new information on the Balance Crystal. They have said that we should continue our journey without worrying about Team Solar or Lunar. They will call us if they have any information. By the way, do you know where to go now? Uh, no? Is there actually more to this than I thought? The next gym is in sub -Hill City. You have to go south from here, but there will be many obstacles in between. But, oh boy. They are events for the final version! Ah, just like I suspected. Water Trainer and Chai Tao, the creators of the game by the way, told me there will be the next two gym battles, the final of the Team Solar and Lunar plot, the Pokemon League and the Elite Four, and some events after all this stuff. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound pretty cool. I really wish we could play it right now, but unfortunately, like I said, we gotta play it in like episodes, so now I have to battle Bailey, but I think I have lots of time to catch up to you. Haha, <laughs> see you in the final version, Orange! Peace out, Rodney. I will see you in the final, but I'm actually curious. Will Rodney be in here? Of course not. He's a teleporting guy. He just poofs out of existence. Everyone in this game loves to do that, so Bailey, you know, goes into the gym, but it actually ends up being a portal into a whole different dimension, so I don't know what's up with that, but. That is actually going to be the ending by the looks of things. I knew that it was coming to an end when I noticed that literally all of the buildings in the city were like empty. And as I say that, this building actually has a lady in it. What the heck is going on? How come there are people here now? I swear in the last episode we were exploring this place and literally all of the buildings were empty. So unless somehow this updated without me knowing about it, then I don't know what's going on. But no, nope, see, there we go. Yeah, so most of the houses around this place are empty, that's why I knew that we were probably coming to an end because I feel like there would be NPCs in here, either that or the houses would be blocked off so that people couldn't get inside, but uh, regardless of that, that is going to be the ending here, so let's see if we can even go on anywhere else, I highly doubt it, but you know, we can always try it. This actually leads over to the Tropic Jungle, which we've already explored anyway, so where Rodney said we should go is down to the south. One thing that I wanted to do in this final episode as well was check out some of the Pokemon Center side quests, but like I said, Green Pine City's not quite there yet, so we don't have any Pokemon Center side quests to do either. There was like one more back in the other city where the guy wanted a Narwhal, but yep, demo 5.0 and you have to wait for the full version. No! So until the full version, that is going to be it. However, I don't want to leave it like this because this is still a pretty dang short episode, so I am going to, I don't know actually, what what do we do? What do we do? I don't know. There could be some other random stuff that we can do in this game. Like if we go back to Sailport, actually it wasn't Sailport. It was all the way back in Rassic City that there was that guy that wanted the Narwhal or nar Narwhal, Narwhal, Narwhal. I don't know how to say that, but do you guys want anything? Oh, what? Um, okay, yeah. So this is happening right now, guys. This is this is actually happening. There's an invisible professor talking to us and an invisible Kira. Oh, yes. Now, we've actually been through all of this before. That's why I'm just reading over it. So if you missed that in an earlier episode, you can watch it with the actual characters sitting in these stools instead of, uh, you know, them being all invisible and stuff. Because uh, I don't know what's going on right now, but we've definitely already been through this before. This is actually... I'm pretty sure this was the ending of the previous beta, so it's kind of weird because this chapter was really short compared to the previous ones. Then again, I only started playing the game during Demo 4. Are you see- we just got another Flaro Knight? Do we have two Flaro Knights now? Like, can we just go and pick up another Flaro and, and we'll be good? We can use two of them? Because if so, that is pretty awesome. Anyway, like I said, this was actually the very ending of the previous demo, so I really hope it doesn't somehow- oh. Look at that, it did bug out our game a little bit because now the camera angle is stuck being a little bit below. There we go, we fixed it. Merkin is such a wonderful Pokemon. Do you know its evolution is depending on its gender? Uh, I didn't know that, but I guess now I do. But, yep, these two people, we already did their side quest. I was really hoping that there would be some more little side quests that we could do to end off this game. Or I could come up with some kind of rant to go on for the ending of this video. But unfortunately, I have neither of those right now. Unless somehow 
in Rassic City there's something. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that there is, but I'm pretty sure it's just this guy who wanted to see Narwhal, but, or actually this girl. Oh, it's just Nawale. Nawale, Nawale, swimming in Route 12. I'm trying to write a song about Nawales, but it's hard because she hasn't seen one, and so we are going to go catch this beautiful young lady, a Nawale, even though I tried it before. And it took about two years, but it might also be a good chance to train up Faley, and I really do want to see the final evolution of Faley before we end this off. So that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to... Oh, I did not realize you could actually jump over those. That's pretty cray-cray right there. So I actually found out some pretty cool things about this game, mainly involving a certain uh, Pokemon that you might notice in the sidebar, and that is Groyla here. I've given him the HM for strength, so not only can we push these little boulders now, but this is actually a Pokemon that I was considering adding onto the team, and after reading the comments a couple of episodes back, turns out a couple of people also want to see Groyla, and a couple of people also don't really want to see Ekwater. So even though I really like Ekwater, uh, because we're at the end of another demo, I think this might be a good time to actually mess around with our team a little bit. So I think Groyla would actually be a really cool addition, and then eventually we might be able to find another water type. Like, for example, the Nawale that we're trying to hunt down right now. So for now, I'm actually going to try to, you know, find that Nawale, but also train up Groyla and Faley to end off this episode and end off the current demo uh, with two new Pokemon so that next time, you know, we have literally two Pokemon that are going to be brand new to the party and we can start using right off the bat. But for now, like I said, uh, since we taught him strength, we can now get these items that we could not get before. Um, even though they might not really be the best of items, they're going to be... I hope at least a little bit decent. What the heck is over this way? This is actually where we fought Team Lunar a while ago, so never mind. Don't want to go that way. We're going to go over past this little rock bean and back outside because I'm pretty sure there's actually one more place where we can use strength right here. Yes, there is. Oh boy, oh me, oh my. I wonder what this item could be. Probably not anything good at all, but, you know, we might as well grab this iron. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought they actually didn't exist, and then just like that, Womp pops up wet in front of my face. So here is Nawale. Thankfully, we didn't one-shot it. I think it made the super effective sound, but I'm pretty sure this thing is half ice-type, so I don't think it should die in one hit. Anyway, let's go right off the bat for that Ultra Ball. As you can see, um, getting experience here is not going too well. Groyla is still only halfway to 41, and like I said, he evolves at 45, so... I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do this, but wait, are we? We're not underwater, are we? I guess we'll go for netball. I was saying dive ball might be good, but we're not technically underwater, so I'm not sure that it would. But like I was saying, training up a little bit harder than I expected for Groyla here. So I'm not sure that we'll be able to get him to 45, and I'm especially not sure that we'll be able to get Faley to 48. So maybe, maybe we'll leave it for the next update. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to try, though. But we're back in Rassic City in the good old Pokemon Center for now because I want to go check out that Nawale that we got. I want to go give it to the person that actually wanted it and see what we get for it because, like I said, this thing was actually pretty dang hard to find in the wild. So I'm hoping for some kind of good reward. I know that it's not going to be, but wow, this thing's level 45. Holy moly. See, that would have been pretty cool to add to the team as well if we didn't have Faley, but man, there's just so many cool Pokemon in this game, and ah, I feel like there's definitely like not enough room to use all of them. Like, look at all of this stuff that we have in all of these boxes. There's so many cool Pokemon and so many unique type combinations that, I don't know, man, we're never going to be able to use all of them, but we'll get to see, we got to see at least a lot of the majority of them. But anyway, let's go ahead and give this lady the Nawale, and we're going to get... Rain and So it turns out training is actually really tedious and annoying, especially when you don't have a speed up button. And I've never actually noticed this until now, but training is really boring. Thankfully, we actually have some rare candies in our bag. So you'll notice Groyla here is now at level 42 and we have exactly enough rare candies to make him into a big bad gorilla. But first of all, we've got to give him a certain attack that we just got from a certain gym leader that loves flowers and that is leaf darts because this is actually the way that Groyla evolves. And I think that's really cool because we literally just beat this gym leader and now we can get the final evolution for this guy. So we're going to go ahead and give him leaf darts, which is actually pretty crappy attack by the looks of things. Uh, so I'm not sure that I want to give it to him, but hey, 
Hammer Arm has actually been missing a butt ton, so I'm just gonna get rid of that because I would rather have the accuracy over, you know, the not being able to ever hit it. And now that we did that, we can actually give him a couple of her candies, and by a couple, I mean all four of the ones that we've got to get her, it's actually a her, I keep saying him, but to get her to level 45, and guess what's going to happen then? That's right, Groyla is evolving already! Just got her in this episode and already it's happening. I mean, I kind of dedicated the whole episode to it, so it makes sense, but, you know, it's still crazy because not only are we going to have one evolution into this thing, Groylum. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure about that name. It sounds like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, and all I can think about is my precious. But, with one more rare candy, we can get her up to level 46, and once again, we're going to be evolving. Now you might be thinking, level 45 and then 46 for evolving, what the heck is this? Nope, it's actually just needs to level up while knowing the move Leaf Darts, so that's why we did that. And so now we're gonna get ourselves the real big, the real bad, Grozilla. Or Grodd, because, you know, we can call it Grodd, we can do that around here. So now that we learned, um, or that we have that, we can basically go ahead and get rid of Leaf Darts, because let's be real, is it really going to do that much? Then again, we also have energy balls, so I don't know, man. Hmm. Leaf darts is not too reliable, though, because it could always just hit twice, and then you're like, ah, oh, well, that didn't work out. So let's go ahead and get Leaf Blade going, and there we go. Now we have Grozilla, the newest member of the team, as well as Faye Lee, who is unfortunately not going to get to level 48 in this episode because that just takes way too long, but turns out way better attack stat than special attack. Actually, way better attack stat than um, Ekwater as well, who was our previous grass type. So now it's up to us to find ourselves a brand new water type Pokemon, like maybe perhaps this Nawail that's actually sitting in our party already, but I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, that is actually going to be it for this uh, current version of Solar Light and Lunar Dark because... There's not really anything else left to do, so thank you all so much for sticking around and watching this entire playthrough, and I will catch you all when the final update comes out, who knows when, but we'll be there when it does. So until then, see you next time.